thank you very much sir for such a wonderful uh, introduction <laughs> so uh, good evening all the members uh, uh, today actually we know that the financial reporting is one of the core part of any ca we have to sign the financial we audit the financials and all and the presenting that financial as per the requirement of compliance and all is the core part so uh, in the financial reporting today i will be taking up the ai based rounding of adjustment using the schedule 3 automation tool so uh, coming to the requirement part so financial reporting is the universal requirement for any entity whether we are in india or whether we are uh, in any entities in us uk australia they have to uh, prepare their financial and uh, publish as per the requirement now uh, we know that uh, the financial that we prepare we have to round it off in thousands and hundreds or in the lakhs or in the crore uh, in the crores depending on the turnover of the entity so this was a long back requirement for the listed entity but now it is even a requirement for the unlisted or maybe the private limited companies also from the financial year 2122 point of view now uh, it is not that we only have to prepare financial in round off we even have to keep the financial in absolute figure for uh, let's say for itr filing or for, for roc filing or maybe for the uh, xbr xbrl reporting so uh, it is a both way we have to prepare a two set of financial again when we round off the financial in any decimal we get the rounding of difference so now this is a what we call it as a uh, this is a very a small thing but it is affecting entire set of financial which is generally called as a casting difference so whenever we convert the financial either in 1000 lakhs crore we get that rounding of difference now this difference can be in the balance sheet can be in the pnl can be in the cfs or notes to the account so it is affecting starting from the balance sheet to the entire notes of account entire sort of financial then we know that we have to convert entire sort of financial in the in unique uh, uh, rounding of financial now it is uh, like as of now uh, we know that majority people are preparing financial manually in excel there is no any proper software or any ai tool available for that to prepare the financial so whenever we prepare a financial manually in excel to check this thing Uh, the casting difference or rounding or uh, rounding of difference to check that we have to uh, manually check that thing now i will show you what is this difference on one of the example and we will even see the case study of ibm also now let me take you to the example now this is the let's say this is one of the set of financial has got the schedule called as a long term borrowing under that there are this four hats that they have presented this is uh, the amount for that this are four hats now when we want to convert this in thousand let's say i am converting this in thousand so uh, what i will do in excel i will just uh, put the figure and divide that by the 1000 let's say i am doing in rounding a uh, 1000 so i will divide by that then i will further divide all the figures now what happens the total of this 3 30 lakhs 22448 is coming total has got round off over here correctly but now let let us try to tally this figure so over here the first comes 7 plus 6 that comes 13 plus 3 16 plus 7 uh 23 comes over here so total over here if somebody because when we uh, present financial when we print in that we will not have this excel formula or anything like this so total to the layman or maybe to the uh, the user of the financial he will read that maybe there is over here uh, the present uh, calculation error so what we can do maybe one other thing that we can do is we will eliminate we use the formula round uh, the um, amount of that divide by the uh, the decimal by which we want to eliminate and we will put the rounding off as a zero we don't want any decimal but in this also there is a problem so this by doing this you will get the 3023 but when this amount will get placed into the balance sheet your balance sheet will not tally because we are having the trial balance which is the sum of that is a zero so if we inflate amount over here there will have a cascading effect in some other schedule so now let us take a example of ibm also i have uh, taken over here a latest annual report of ibm it is not that only we are facing this problem it is a problem of the universal uh, for all the entity so uh, let me take you to the page number 46 where it is the consolidated financial statement income statement now in this uh, if we see the revenue revenue they have divided into three three categories service sales and financing for first year uh, 2022 and 2023 the amount gets tallied 
it is it is not that every time you will get the rounding of difference but if you see for the financial year 2021 the total over year is 5 plus 6 plus 0 that becomes 11 over year but over year total is uh, 350 so total over here is not getting tallied so is it that ibm is not aware of this or is it that they don't have any tool is it that because as of now there is no any solution for this people have to take out a print and manually check the total of that and then to do the uh, adjustment for that and it is not that we will have to just uh, do the adjustment at one place we will have to do the adjustment at so many places so since ibm is aware and they did one smart work for this to uh to, for the layman to, to the user of the financial just to avoid if somebody uh, put an allegation that there is an arithmetic uh, problem. So what they have done at the last of this report, what they have put the footnote, amount may not add due to rounding. So this is a smart word that they have did, but they don't have a solution for that. Now let me take you to the solution of this. There is a automation tool available for the financial reporting that is the schedule three automation tool now in this schedule three automation tool i have prepared the financial uh balance sheet has been generated over here if we see as of now this is in rupees let's say we want to convert this balance sheet into uh 100 so i will come to the master sheet and uh, over here i will convert this figures uh rupees in thousands so when i convert this rupees in thousand and if i just simply come to the balance sheet now my balance sheet over here is, uh, you see, the balance sheet over here has got converted in thousand and over here balance sheet is also tallied. Now let me take you the same example. Let's say uh, if I do it manually, if I'm not using this tool and if I do it manually rounding off, what will happen? So this is one uh, report that I have extracted. This first two column F and G has been uh, absolute figure. And this I have manually rounded off in right. If you see uh, the formula that I have used over here, round off formula that I have used. Now over here, what happens because there are different, different uh, amounts are there and every amount will have a different uh, afterwards, uh, after thousands, maybe there is a 500, there is a 100, there is a 250. So there is the amount maybe like that. So if we just check over here, if, and if you try to uh, tally the total, so over here, total is not getting tallied. Why this is not getting telling because when we round off uh, the figures, we always get the rounding of difference, which is generally called as a casting difference. So by using this uh, schedule, uh, schedule three automation tool, I have converted entire set of financial and over here, I don't get difference. The base over here that they have taken over here is they first take the total of the balance sheet of the asset side as well as PL side, and then they do the reverse calculation. And it based on certain AI and algorithm which is there in the back end, it does the round up at the balance sheet level. Then in the PL also, this round of, uh, rounding off has been done. Now, let's say what about the notes? This is being done only on the face of the balance sheet and PL. Now, let me show you what is the, the shown on the notes. So, in the notes, so this is the note of the uh, long term borrowing. So this is not yet converted into thousand. Let's say we uh, convert in thousand to convert that in thousand. We will have to click on this button, prepare notes. So when we click on this button, prepare notes, it will convert entire set of financial, maybe all the notes starting from balance sheet to the, all the PNL notes, uh, in that respective decimal. And the, the there is a uh, engine backend engine is there which automatically take the base of the balance sheet and PNL and it automatically adjusts figures uh, as per the balance sheet level and maybe at the uh, notes level also. So we don't get any rounding of difference at uh, uh, notes as well as at balance sheet level. And this part which is generally being checked by people that has been uh, that can be uh, automated by using this tool. So let, let, let us see, let's this get generated. This even does the consolidation also. So in case there is an elimination part, there is a consolidation part that can also be taken care by the tool itself. And in that scenario also, it auto adjusts that round of difference. Yeah, so once the notes have been generated by the tool, we get this message that the notes have been generated now. And now let me take you to the notes one. Over here, if we see the total of the long, uh, long term borrowing that comes 3022 hour, same example. And total, if we try to tell you over here, six plus six, 12 plus three, 15 plus seven, that comes at 3022. 
it is not only one note that we have to prepare. It is an entire set of financial during the audit time, during the August, September, when we prepare a financial, we have to prepare a financial for uh, many number of client. Uh, and in that also there are 30, 40, 50 notes. And for all of that, doing things manually, it is a very uh, uh, tedious task. And using this tool, this thing can be automated. Now, let me further show it to you. Coming to the our example, how it does the round of adjustment, what it has done, uh, this was the example. So what it has done, the algorithm has been designed in a way that it reads the data and whatever is the round of difference after that, over here, after five, after a normal round of 30 is there, then there is over here, 130 is there. This has upward round of over here. It has a downward round of 463 over here. It has an upward round of uh, 175. So this analyze this data, this analyze this data and over here, wherever, whether it wants to add or it wants to subtract it, did, uh, the tool decide automatically that and based on certain ranking, it adjust uh, that amount. Now, if we show it to you in this example, it has adjusted in first ledger. First ledger is our uh, secure term loan from bank over here. It has adjusted over here because based on the ranking, this was the amount where it should classify. So over here, it has uh, adjusted to uh, that rounding of difference. One, two, four, six is coming. And if we normally round up, it becomes one, two, four, uh, four, seven. But if we normally round up, we will end up uh, getting some difference at some another level. So unless uh, again, we will have to do some adjustment uh, by manually. So this tool, uh, depending on the data itself, it identifies where it should adjust the amount, how much amount it should adjust. And it does that thing automatically. It is now not only at the notes level. When we prepare a financial for our NTD, we even have to prepare a financial at the leisure yeah. level. So that leisure level report is being generated at Anixure. And this Anixure report also, let me show to you one more. Yeah, over here I have generated. So this is the Anixure report also is being generated. In this report also, it will auto adjust that uh, rounding of adjustment. One, This is the, uh, sorry, I've... This is the uh, amount. Yeah, this one is that the annexure, which is the leisure level presentation of entire financial. Over here also, it does the rounding of adjustment automatically. This is the one of the feature of uh, this tool for the financial reporting. There are so many lots more uh, thing available in this tool. Uh, so at last, I would like to say one thing. It is not uh, till now, whatever the AI tool that we have seen, maybe those are developed either uh, uh, in US or UK, maybe those are developed uh, outside India, but this is one of the tool which is being developed in India. So uh, we should be a uh, vocal for the local. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for giving me, giving us an opportunity to showcase a tool like this.